got here is the ESMA uh, automated passivation system. Uh, this particular system is what we call a triple system where we have three of the individual process units and each one shares the storage tanks in the back. Those storage tanks hold the alkaline detergent for a, a wash of the parts prior to passivation, rinse water, and then in this system we actually have two acid tanks, one for citric and one for nitric. So programs, recipes that can be run will select either a citric or a nitric recipe. Uh, we usually have two rinse tanks, uh, rinse tank number one and rinse tank two. The rinse tank one sees mo the most uh, drag out solution, so we call that our dirty rinse. And then rinse two is more of a final rinse, it's a cleaner water rinse. We're doing final rinse prior to drying of the parts. The system would have, uh, as I said, a triple system. So when you uh, start the cycle, the fluids are pumped in and they can all share so they can run simultaneously. Um, the process is a typical process would be fill from an alkaline storage tank and run an ultrasonic wash and then pump back to the alkaline storage tank. Then we'd fill up with rinse water from rinse tank number one and rinse off that alkaline detergent and then drain that back to its tank. Then we'd come in with the acid, whichever acid was selected, citric or nitric. Then we follow that with a series of rinses. We do as many as four that you can do. Uh, initially, it's usually rinse one, followed by rinse two. And then you'll notice that the hinged cover here acts as a dryer. So there's fans and heating elements in the cover. And so when that cycle drains the rinse water back, then the fans will turn on and we'll do a hot air dry set. The cover also, as you might be able to see here, has some sprayer nozzles in it. And those are really just used for um, spraying the tank down to eliminate as much cross-contamination as possible after all of the uh, chemical steps. So after the alkaline drain and then after the acid uh, step, we're spraying with fresh water and it's going down to our to a waste containment area. So. That's more of an overview of the system. It's an automated process for passivation where we're moving liquids rather than parts.